I'm Sarah Richmond and I'm one of the designers at Rex London and I created Sydney the Sloth. Generally for each design I would begin by creating a mood board full of images um, from literally anywhere really that I can find that inspire me whether it's subject matter, so for this one sloths or pattern or even colour. It could literally be anything and from that I'll start to do some sketches. Often they're very loose sketches to begin with, just sort of trying to work out shape and style and then this was helped greatly by um, my creative director Les who could look at it from the outside because often when you're working on something really intensely you can stop seeing um, the overall vision which was really great to have him um, guide me and to also work on developing the character to make it a really sweet and fun print but it also has to fit with the other products we have in our range. Really conveniently for me, at the time I was researching to design Sydney the Sloth, Marilyn, a sloth at London Zoo, had just had a baby and it tied in really nicely for my research and looking at footage of them, what they would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So they were climbing through the trees and hanging off one another and they were both just really sweet. Once I have a paper sketch that I'm happy with, I'll use a scanner and scan it into the computer to become a digital file and from that digital file I will then work into the design in either Illustrator or Photoshop. I chose to use soft greys for Sydney's body because they're quite nice gentle colours and I really liked how that sort of reflected a sloth's gentle and calm nature. So using digital software we can change the scale, the pattern, the frequency of the motifs and the colour at the click of a button. In Sydney you can see there's the small details within his fur and also the texture on the leaves which give it a really nice illustrative quality. Once everybody's happy seeing the printed final design, we'll then go back onto the computer to finalise it, make sure the repeat is perfect and then get it ready to send off to the printers.